person is not looking. They're going to. Yes! Welcome to it. Um, we're a bit of on farewell to our long term match today. And we're going to try and make this short and sweet because it's a bit of a sad moment. Because we've absolutely, absolutely enjoyed this car. We took delivery of it at the end of July this year and we were scheduled to spend three months with it and <clears throat> we have genuinely genuinely and utterly loved every second of it because firstly it was a new car on the market for Suzuki and apart from just being a new car the fact that uh, what it represents for the brand and in an SUV loving country and we love the ride heights the comforts and we have a lot of memories to share about the car. I mean, my kids loved it. My wife loved it a lot. Um, even though she she should drive the car and not come back with any content at all because she's just that type of person. Oh Jesus! Yes, we are all fans. Felan, yo, this car next to me uh, has got self-made pops and bangs. So man, every time this woman's lifting off the throttle as we're going downhill here. Things making noise, it's irritating me. So, anyway, <clears throat> here we are. We took delivery of this at the end of July. Uh, we loved the color, we loved all the features, and we prayed that it should come in the specification GLX 1.5 manual. Yeah, bro? because the auto hybrid, I we didn't like that one. We had a maroon one, we had on test, we drove at the launch. This one served, uh, hey man, serves all the head, all the right feels. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, seriously, seriously, we love the looks, we loved the fact that we did a lot with it, and fuel consumption has steadily stayed at just under 7Ks, the highest we got was 7.2 liters per 100Ks, but um, on a recent stint, this was, I think, most of the longer trips that we did were, shorter trips were from me, uh, going to the studio and then back and then sometimes it wasn't really I think was, yeah, I didn't even go to Jeffries but the longest trip that we did now was the last one which was Friday when I took my kids to King Williamstown and it was a 550k round trip and let me tell you it was it would have been very easy for this car to cover that distance without any refueling necessary we left here on a blistering hot day I mean, the temperature stayed above 30 degrees all the way to King William Town at Debe, just on the other side of Itimbaza, is Lalin. And when we got there, yo, I know, she, she was still sitting at above half a tank. We drove back, I can Buya, it was cooler, and hey, there's something about this engine on cold days. I mean, hey, it was performing like nobody's business. It was just breathing, and I actually ended up having to top it up. So, I guess since then, we've been driving with that fuel for the whole weekend, which means superb fuel consumption. Um, anemones, um, air conditioning has been, work, it's been working, it didn't skip a beat. Um, the 360 view, view camera was lovely. The radio could be better, but I got used to it and I knew how to set it right that I can listen to my type of music and absolutely love it. Um, the other thing that we quite enjoyed was. Oh man, the space of the car, man. Yes, this thing. You know, people, the boot space. Um, and the nice little things like Banbashanye sunroof. This one's got, you can extend the sunroof almost to the back. Um, Killer's entry, push start. Yo, guys, it's been awesome. It really, really has been awesome. We're sitting now at 5,500 Ks. And. We can't fault it. We can't. We really, really can't fault this car. In fact, I'd go as far as saying I wouldn't have an issue at all buying this car as my personal car. At all. Yes, there's parts where I feel that old engine, 103 kilowatt turbocharged boosted jet engine, so much that I was thinking, I wonder if I can find that other Grand Vitara. Uh, or in yeah, that one with that engine. But uh, you have been very happy with this one. Very, very happy. We can't complain. And um, and guess what? Ne? In all the years of doing this motoring thing, this was 
our first ever long term at any other time that I've had an extended clip stay with test cars has been over the festive season where brands would give me their cars for a month to keep or I'd request a car and you know a brand would give me a car like Suzuki was there they gave me a um, Lando's Mercedes car the Swift Sport yellow Swift Sport manual I knew you, 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 that car that car there I, 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 you the memories I know no, no. Yeah, that car for December and when you talk bang for buck, I know that thing. I know people are saying it's gotten expensive now. I'd probably even go as far as saying I'd buy the 100 kilowatt normal expensive one as well because it was a very lovely thing to drive. And so, yeah, we've come to the end. We've been very happy. And uh, this is a car we highly recommend for, you know what? There's a lot of cars out there. This you're looking at, I think this is about 429 if I'm not mistaken, the pricing for it. This unit with 5,000 Ks, I'll ask my friend Vinesh at Suzuki, the local dealership, how much a used one of these will go for. Because, I mean, we've never, we, you know how smooth things have gone with this car? We had, we didn't even have to change a tire the entire time we've had this car. Guys, if only you knew how I hate changing a tire. Yo! Yeah, so, that's that. And, um... Thank you to Suzuki South Africa um, for trusting us with their vehicle and thank you to everyone that's followed this journey with this car. Uh, it's a car that I highly recommend if you are looking for something that's practical, that can do a lot and that is easy on your pocket as well. Um, these, these do come with a service plan, a maintenance uh, a service plan and a warranty. Um, so yeah, that's us like subscribe ask us anything you'd like to know about the car uh we are more than willing to answer